Hello awesome one, thank you so much for joining me here and allowing me to share with you. The first thing that I'd like to ask is a question and that is, have you ever been in a situation where your body externally doesn't match the way you feel internally? Have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror and thought, who is this person? Have you ever thought you're too fat, you're too thin, you're not muscly enough? you know, that you don't really deserve this body that you have, this amazing temple? Have you ever wanted to be socially connected and more creative? Have you ever had those creative blocks where you actually can't get out of bed in the morning because you think that there's nothing to give or you, you can't find the inspiration to get motivated? Have you ever had blocks around money, around stepping up into your confidence and relaying to the world just this amazing, awesome being that you are? Have you ever felt like you're missing, your life's pretty good, but you're missing that, that love, that other person that you want to share your life with? Have you ever thought that your family life could be better, or your relationships in general could be more healthful, that you seem to attract these toxic people in your life? Have you ever had issues around expressing yourself authentically, honestly, and conducive to helping your career move forward? You know, that is just an extension of expression of yourself. Have you ever had blocks around receiving your bigger picture, like what your life should look like, what your purpose in life should be? Have you ever had um, instances where you can't connect to source? You feel isolated and alone, uh, unable to touch base with that um, authentic place within where we are all one. You know, well, if you have, I'm here to really share with you, you're not alone. I come from that, that's my story. And that's what actually brought me into a lifetime of trying to do the best that I could to figure out what was broken in me because I felt like I was living a lie. I was born into a loving like family where my parents loved each other, my mom's a psychologist, my father is an amazing salesperson. With their powers combined, it's like I kind of got both of the best of both worlds. My mum's all head and my dad's all heart and I kind of got the combination of the two for that I am truly blessed. But at the same time, I felt integrally broken. My parents separated when I was nine and I spent the next, you know, 15 years on drugs with an eating disorder, you know, uh, unable to feel this, feel who I really was anymore. I didn't even know. I just wanted an escape. I wanted to escape it out of this body. You know, I got up to 80 kilos. I had these massive breasts from the age of 11, which meant that I just was sexualized from a really early age and never loved my body. You know, at the age of 16, I had a breast reduction and I started to live this new life, but I still had no system or orderly fashion of how to live my life and felt fully incongruent with the inside of me just on a journey of trying to find who I was, but the drugs were a better escape. Therefore, I just ended up homeless, um, being raped, uh, no idea who I was, every bit of money I went, went on drugs or food. Um, I was completely lost. But I'd always kept up this thing of self-discovery of trying to find out who I was. And I knew I was here for a bigger purpose, so I had to keep up with the mission. In 2004, I relapsed and was back on drugs and ended up in a rehab which introduced me to NA and AA and those NA I will say absolutely saved my life. It also brought me back and allowed me to remember that beautiful spiritual part of me that was never unchanging and in doing so I began to shift my life. I'd made a decision that I was never going to go back to rehab and I started to live from a new place. and. I started the journey of finding a job that I really loved and that was in a martial arts academy where I could really start to help other people, you know, sharing from my strength, experience and hope of the darkness to come into their light. And yes, it was helping them externally transform their bodies, you know, and I, I took that journey as far as I could take it where I, I'd increased the membership of the academy by 400%. Um, I'd grown that place to where, you know, I couldn't grow in there anymore. I'd reached the cap and then it became the time where I had to realize well, what else do I want to do and I thought well I really want to take my coaching to another level where I want to help people transform their be, their beingness themselves, their inner self so then they can do the action that will get them to have the result that they've always wanted to have 
And so I have absolutely dedicated my life to finding that for myself so that I can then teach that to other people. But I don't want to give you a fish. I want to teach you how to fish. I want to actually wake you up. And the way I do it is a three-step system. It's about remember, realign, re-empower you with your authentic awesome. We can do that in three areas of life to begin with, whether it's lifestyle, the way you are in the world, finding your confidence, having the interactions you want to have, finding your purpose, knowing your vision, business, coming in from a total business perspective, finding out why you started the business in the first place, remembering what drew you to that in the first place, and then re-empowering everything to realign with that authentic nature through health and wellness. All of those three, three things fit together to create the total package. I'm ready and willing to take you as your navigator. I'm not doing this journey for you, it's all you. But I'm here to navigate and help guide you through the dark. You know, we do that through Compass. That's one of the programs I offer. We do that through trips to Thailand where we detox our entire body to remember on a physical level how our body always wanted to support us. And then we realign ourselves through every daily decision that we make to make sure that is congruent and in line with our remembrance of our authentic awesome so that then we can have the result which is re-empowering everything we do in line with that remembrance on a daily basis. I'm ready to work with you if you're ready to put the work in. Here's to your journey.